There are two ways to add an image overlay to your scene in Blender. One way is great for if you just need a quick overlay for reference purposes, um, but doesn't work for rendering. And the second method works for rendering. So I'm going to show you both methods. And the first method, which is great just for reference purposes, is to select your camera in your scene, go to your camera data properties, your camera properties, check background images and expand this menu here. Click add image, open, and then find your overlay. I've got this overlay file and currently it's set as a background. So you'll want to change depth from back to front and then boom, there you go. You can change it from stretch to fit to crop, depending on your needs. You can offset it, you know, you can rotate it, whatever you want to do, uh, you can do it here. However, you'll notice that if I hit render right now and render out the scene, it doesn't appear. So if you want it to render, you're gonna have to do a different method other than leveraging background images here. And to do that, we're going to navigate to the compositing view. So go to compositing. And then once you're in the compositing view, select use nodes. Now we've got use nodes enabled and we've got our render layers and we've got our composite layer. Do shift A, and then we're gonna wanna add an image input under input image and then put in your image input let's put the overlay that you want in the image input we're going to need an alpha over node color mix alpha over connect the transparent overlay to your alpha over at the bottom one connect the render layer and connect the alpha over to the composite now we'll throw a viewer in there and now you can see that we are, everything is working here, it's overlaying nice. By adjusting the factor, we can adjust the transparency over the overlay, if that's something you're interested in. And if you're not happy with the scaling of the overlay, you can go right ahead in and add a transform scale right in between the overlay HUD and the alpha over. This lets you stretch it. So if you need to stretch it, resize it, you can do that. If you need to, you can also change it to absolute or screen size or render size. And then you have the stretch fit crop, very similar to the previous settings that we saw on the camera properties. Now, if we go ahead and render our scene, you can see that the overlay shows up nicely. Hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you.